Hey guys, welcome to my One Awesome Autistic vlog. If you're new here, I'm Lee. Obviously, I'm autistic. I do also have ADHD and I also have an autoimmune disorder as well. I wanted to kind of do another day in the life because every day isn't the same when you're autistic. It can be quite varied. Some days you can do more than others. Some days you can do nothing at all. But instead of just showing like a random day which might be very boring, I wanted to try and challenge myself. So I wanted to have the type of day a kind of like a normal person would have. The amount of tasks that somebody can actually get up to in, to in a day and to show what kind of effect that actually has on me as an autistic person. So I'll show you the clips and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit afterwards. So here goes. Well, it's quarter past ten already and I'm already behind on these tasks. One of the things I needed to do was film the intro and outro to my latest vlog. Both my batteries for the camera were dead, so I had to wax them on charge. So while I was waiting for that, there wasn't really a lot I could do. I did get one task done, which I rang the doctor, so that's, that's done with. Um, but they I will be ringing me back later. I ended up basically on the computer playing games for an hour so that's an hour where I didn't get anything done so I'm behind with that and I'm already feeling tired I'm gonna get this blog edited rendered and then uploaded and then after that I'll be able to get like three tasks done in one go sort of thing and while I'm rendering hopefully I can while I'm waiting for that I can get another task done we'll see how it goes but for now I'm cracking on with this and see how long I get going. So, editing. Done. Waiting for it to render. It's going to take about 35 minutes. So, rather than what I would normally do, is I normally would spend that 35 minutes having a break. But, we're trying to act like a normal functioning person today. So, while that's rendering, I'm going to get some random tasks done. Now, I don't have the space in this house for my clothes. I do have a fair few clothes but I don't have a proper wardrobe so I don't have a lot of storage space for it so what I figured I would do because I'm looking to move and I'm either going to move sometime soon or maybe after winter but hopefully as soon as possible um, so I figured I would pack away all of my summer clothes into at least one suitcase hopefully a will take one suitcase but then I will have that extra room to be able to hang the clothes that I want access to daily because you've probably seen in the back of my videos I just have like a dress rail to hang the majority of my clothes on so that is going to be my next task and then I'll try and cross some other things off as well after that okay so I failed at the productive day already it is now five past two I, I packed the suitcase I had that done just before 12 o'clock and I know it was around lunchtime as well so I know that also affected me. Basically I crashed and crashed hard which is why it's taken me two hours to actually even say anything. I was shaky, I felt like I could barely stand and um, luckily I already had a drink up here but I basically had to go grab a couple of sausage rolls and eat them because I'd, I couldn't even stand long enough to make myself anything to eat and it's taken me two hours to get to the point where I could stand for long enough to microwave a packet of microwave bowl rice which is just plain long grain rice okay no flavour no none of the chicken flavour rice nothing it is just plain rice because I don't have the energy to stand to do anything else this is what trying to act like other people and trying to do the same amount of work as everybody else does to me. I know my case is a bit different to other autistic people because I currently have a few other things going on that are also causing fatigue like with this vitamin D deficiency and stuff like that. So my plan is I am still going to try and do some of the things that are on my list later on because I've got things listed like get a shower but there is 29 things on my list and I've done five of them that's the total amount of energy I've had before I've got completely overwhelmed 
it's raining outside my job of going to the shop is more than likely not going to happen so I have nothing planned for dinner tonight so I don't know what I'm going to do there luckily my boyfriend is coming round tonight so I do have a couple of things left over in the freezer so if he can grab one or two bits on the way home then I can salvage something together and I'm still waiting for the doctor's phone call as well so I'm going to wait to get a shower until that phone call has been done and that's pretty much probably the only thing I'm going to get done today but if I get anything else done then I'll let you guys know, film it, what have you and I'll see where I go for the rest of the day, bye for now so that's actually all I managed to get filmed and all I managed to get done I had a list of 29 tasks and that included eating breakfast, eating lunch, eating dinner and I got through about six of them now I did film those clips obviously all in one day about three weeks or so ago there, was, there is also other factors affecting my energy when I actually filmed that and I do have more energy now since I started taking like my vitamin D tablets and stuff hopefully I maybe in a few weeks I might do another version to show the difference but still to show how a productive day has an effect on me after kind of like going at it hard in the morning I full on crashed and I couldn't do anything for a few hours including talking I literally had no energy to talk. I crawled into bed and I stayed there for about three or four hours I think before I filmed maybe the last clip and then after that didn't film anything else whatsoever I just I couldn't do it and I needed energy to be able to do dinner in the afternoon so that is the effect of what trying to have a kind of productive day and pushing myself to act like other people does to me as an autistic person it completely burns me out and I wanted to show that because I wanted to show the effect of how people can sometimes think somebody who is autistic looks fine and is able to do stuff that actually they're not able to do it's quite common for autistic people to be pushed too hard and that was me just trying it for one day imagine trying to do that day after day after day for months unfortunately for me that's what happened to me last year the job that I was in was pushing me to work 40 plus hours a week even though I had a 30 hour contract it might not seem like much doing 10 and more hours extra when you're already doing 30 but it makes a massive difference because it takes up extra days when I needed to rest a lot of those shifts were me not finishing until late at night so I wasn't getting home until sometimes close to 10 o'clock at night so then when you're straight in bed and then you're up again the next day to do the same thing you have zero time to recover and that's really bad because I completely burnt out and it has taken me months to recover from it lots of medication lots of trips to the doctors and I'm finally coming out the other side of it nearly a year later so I hope somehow by showing that it's informative to other people hopefully gives a little bit more empathy from people who aren't autistic towards your autistic friends your autistic work colleagues but that's it from me today I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now